kind of want to bring up uh, the hosting of nodes on on the site. I noticed recently there's been um, about hosting your own no network. Yeah, uh, there's going to be some really amazing stuff coming out next week and uh, in the next month. So we've got launching uh, the beta of hosting for the mines hosted stuff on our servers. And this is sort of in pre so you know people will be able to launch uh, their own subdomain, uh, which will be a total uh, replica of mine that they can totally the, customize and custom domain if you want. And so we're going to gear that up in for the period of the next month or two. And as we finish the internationalization with uh, language support, which is crucial um, be, for our growth. I mean, we need to get the, the translations going, as well as a really uh, revamped referral system so that there's incentivization and rewards for uh, bringing people into the network, both for Minds.com and for referring people to launch um, social networks. Um, and so that's really exciting. And so hopefully we'll get some of the bugs out, and then the, the self-hosted stuff can uh, will will come out late late this summer. Yeah, that's really exciting. Um, actually, Tech Lords, you. Uh, we're pretty big on the subdomains. Uh, do you want to um, add something to that, or, or what do you envision um, that could do for for everybody to have the subdomains? Well, the subdomains uh, I've been waiting for a long time, but I, I'm a, I'm a patient man. I know it's going to come eventually, uh, but it's going to create a whole bunch of uh, sub networks, and uh, it's going to spread like wildfire. So the mind's um, way of life will just spread like like crazy all over the world. Uh, just wait and see how many people are going to go to, you know are going to get into this. Of course, you need to have a little experience with uh, you know a console and how to set up and everything. But uh, it's gonna it's gonna spread like crazy. Um, as far as uh, decentralized uh, network uh, are concerned, uh, on the personal note, I have uh, unlimited uh, internet here, um, so uh, you know I could set up a server. And but not everybody has unlimited internet. Some people are limited to 60 gigs, others to 40. Uh, it depends where you are, who your your internet provider is. So that might cause a problem for some of the nodes. Um, so that's the only concern I have right now. And the speed, of course. Um, I have a, here I'm lucky, I have a 40, 40 megabyte connection. So it's, it's not too bad. It's pretty, pretty fast. But a lot of people are still on like five maximum. And most of the time, they have three megabyte upload, I mean download, which is not very much. So it might cause problems in the uh, uh, stability of the network if people, if certain nodes cannot uh, provide a, a sufficient speed. But that's just a personal opinion. I don't know. Uh, maybe uh, we could ask uh, Ian what he thinks about this. Uh, I was saying, if we, when we search, when you're in the network looking for all the the available networks. That maybe we could we could show the latency of each network, and then you could sort by the least latent. I think that uh, in, it's going to be interesting because not uh, hosting your own social network is something that is going to be valuable for some people, and, it, and to be honest, for others, it's going to be overkill. Um, you're not not everyone, depending on you know what your goals, what your goals are, and um, X Y Z. Uh, not everyone necessarily needs their own entire network. Many, I think, ultimately, what what we've been seeing that the future of the internet, everyone's website actually will be a social network because if you could have the same CMS 
functionality like a WordPress or, or something like that, but it has a whole social engine behind it, why wouldn't you want all of that extra functionality on your network? Um, so, but at the same time, uh, you know, the, there's still there still may be people who, who that is too much for. Um, and we, uh, but I think with the zero net type conversation, what that would imply is that a channel would actually be hosted on your device and that each device is what scales the network as opposed to, you know, us having to add servers in a central source, every new machine uh, is actually what contributes to uh, the power of it, which is really, really interesting. Um, and there's also a torrent structure so that it's uncensorable. Like what you were saying about how, yeah, if something happened to Facebook, it's very reasonable, actually, that, well, there is somebody with a flick of a button could take down all Facebook. And then that all that content, everyone's years and years of work and networking is just down the drain. So that's really just from a, a security risk for the future of the Internet. It makes no sense to have everything stuck in these silos. But the silos are, they do have their place in the evolution of the Internet. So it's not, I think some people get a little bit too extreme, like, oh, centralization is bad and decentralization is good. But it's really not as simple as that. Both will always be involved. Even in a decentralized world, you're still going to have centralized nodes within that greater centralized, uh, decentralized environment. So, and in a lot of ways, the, you know, you, you could still have people running servers which are just contributing more to the decentralized network. That's a brilliant idea. I'm ready for it. Yeah, and I think that's uh, something that me and Gus Spiders always talk about or are really excited about is that the what he was talking about with MadeSafe is the proof of resource to where um, someone like Tech Lords who has a little bit more uh, unlimited internet and resources with his own server and his own computing power could kind of, uh, in, in a sense, use, use that resourcing power in, in a pool so someone that's on a cell phone uh, that doesn't have all those resources could kind of uh, have this this uh, relationship with Techlords, and however that gets um, worked out in in that way, and like made safe, they have the the safe coins with that. Um, but because uh, spiders, uh, your perceptions of where what what Bill's talking about and how that could propel minds forward and. And the whole, because I think that's on the whole evolution of where everything is going. What I've seen on the internet. Yeah, that's uh, the, I haven't heard of that system in place with Minds yet. That idea for uh, I think you called it zero net hosting for a channel. Um, it would be really cool, like uh, like you were just saying, to incentivize it somehow so that someone like Tech Lords, or I have pretty good internet speed too. I could probably host machines. I'm planning on farming Made Safe Coin. Um, but I mean, I could host a number of accounts, and I would get rewarded somehow for that within the system, and that would be a cool way to decentralize it and break it up if we went that route. Um, but I was actually going to go back to something Bill said really early on uh, about how no single framework is really the answer. And uh, when Tim Berners-Lee was asked to pick his uh, top three decentralized projects, he refused, comparing it to the moon landing, uh, saying that everyone is focusing on different functions. We've got some people working on fuel. There's other working on we're others working on physics and navigation. You couldn't have made it to the moon without all of the pieces coming together. And whether it's scenario, mines, decorum, these decentralized platforms can facilitate one one another to grow. And even if the correct one doesn't exist yet, um, once that framework comes together and everything is properly practiced and uh, tested, uh, I mean, that's a whole other talk that um, 
someone was talking about you're, you don't have the right to uh, point out flaws in software anymore on certain scales of privatized uh, code because it's illegal. You can't distribute um, exploits either, which, you know, at the end of the day, we just came from the anarchy panel yesterday, but at the end of the day, kind of when you can pressure test everything, like we talk about working things at mines, like we're open for anyone to come test things out. You know, if it's broken, it's broken, and it needs to be fixed, sort of. Um, open source projects are more inviting for uh, that, that pen testing, that, that improvement. Yeah, and uh, that, that's something, too, that maybe in our community, but I think, too, as we move along, that everything is kind of getting... Uh, especially with the new projects, it's about open source, decentralization, way of working. And it's because, that, but it, it works a lot better. Like, you learn a lot when you're, when you're, like, for instance, when we have our talks, right? Oh, and then you, you mentioned some point, and I mentioned another point. Oh, I don't know about that, or I have you clarify a point. And we get to some kind of consensus. And we build, we feed off each other, we build off, off each other. And I think this is just, uh, not a, not a new top a new way of doing things but it's we're we're kind of really trying to get the grasp of of this new era of human social evolution I mean it, it starts you know with baby steps